Good morning, um, Advanced LA people. Uh, this is just some instructions for you for today for your Wednesday um, Wednesday work. And um, I basically have three or four things here for you to do, depending on how far you are. I want you to read the rest of Chapter 6 um, or read as you listen on YouTube, if that's your bag. Uh, I want you to, as you're reading, I want you to think about which character is showing traits of heroism and who is not. I want you to complete study guides for chapter six, which is the one we're on. And there's a one question quiz in this folder right here to show that you've read. And at the end of that, if you have time left over, or if you are not done yet with your tic-tac-toe, I'd like you to work on your vocab tic-tac-toe, which is officially due on Friday. So just a few things about that. If you'd like to listen to YouTube while you read, you can always go here. Um, and you can go to the um, Outsiders folder, and here's the audiobook on YouTube. That'll open up this here. What I did, I split the screen here so I could play this. Also tough, just deepened into manhood, Sam. That's uh, chapter six a little bit we were listening to. I like this version so much. Um, and while you're uh, playing that, uh, you, can list, you can read along in your PDFs. This is the other class, but you have the same thing if you go to the chapters here. Um, you can find chapter six or again if you have your own book obviously you can read that and i know many of you are already beyond this part in your reading but that's fine so you can just read along here as you go along and read and listen to it next time you want a broad pick up your own cup. and then uh after you do that uh the study guides um study guides everything is right here at the top of the outsiders folder study guides for this this part are getting a little bit different so you want to open the one that says 6 to 11, that's this. And you want to answer all the ones for chapter 6. Please be careful. They are a little different, but it's not that complicated. What you're going to be doing now is reading the quote and answer these three questions about it. So you'll read this quote, number 1. She felt the whole mess was her fault, da da da, da. And then you'll answer number 1. Who is the speaker? Speaker meaning who said that quote. Number 2. What do they tell you about the characters being mentioned? What does this quote tell you in that quote about the characters they're talking about? And number three, how do they improve your understanding of that scene? Okay, be thorough, be thoughtful, be incisive, be insightful. Um, don't submit it yet because that is where you're going to work more when we get to chapter seven. But just do up to there. Ch number eight's a little different, but I want you to do it. How did that explain the foreshadowing that would happen later? Okay. Um, Put your best guess you can. Then, again, like I said, you have a, uh, a small quiz to take to prove that you work today. So don't forget to do that. When you're done with all this, go back in and do your one question quiz as well. Um, if you have questions today, I'll be there. Uh, you can uh, come into office hours. I think you guys are 10 o'clock. Or you can message me on Schoology. I'll be checking my messages all throughout the day. Um, hope that that goes well for you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.